probably wondering how does the music room name work all right I'll explain to you you can control the uh, the max users per room in the room name itself I'll show you the format basically so let me type it out chicken dash 10 underscore one okay so let me just explain what this means so chicken is the interest it's the you know it's it's the interest of the room basically so anybody who joins chicken room should mm, like chickens right dash 10 what is that number after 10 the number after 10 basically is the max users for that for that room right as you can see right here max users 10 right and then after that underscore one what is underscore one well as you can see right here it's the nth room the nth room right the nth room after the starting room in this case the starting room is chicken dash 10. in other words everybody who likes chicken and only wants to talk to max 10 people all right you join the room chicken dash 10 or one so it's very simple what exactly is nth room i'll explain so whenever you join a room whenever you join a room and it's full right it's full what happens after that well what happens after that it puts you in the next available room but not quite i'll explain later so in other words the so next available room is the underscore uh so it's like if it's underscore one i guess it you'd think that it, it tries to attempt to join underscore two underscore three underscore four right but there's a caveat right there's something that i need to mention if you're always trying to if, if the system always tries to put put your next available room like after the the, the next nth room for example then you'll get a situation where you know if previous rooms if pre so let's let's say the nth room is 10 and you know there's like nine previous rooms right ninth previous nth rooms like nth room of one two three four five all the way up to nine right what if some people leave those rooms right shouldn't the system try to put you in the one of those rooms instead of you know whatever's after your current nth room right so that's what the system does let me go to so yeah now we're in the 10th room 10th nth room nth room of 10 so let's just say I, I tend to join this room on another tab for example and it's full for example then instead of trying to attempt to join chicken dash 10 underscore 11 let's say one of those rooms one of those previous rooms previous nth rooms have have an available space maybe they have someone just left someone just left maybe it's nth room one for example what the system does it starts from the I guess it, it starts from the starting room it first tries to join the starting room which is chicken dash 10 and then it attempts to join the first nth room chicken dash 10 underscore one assuming chicken dash 10 the starting room is full it tries to join chicken dash 10 underscore one and then score two underscore three in this case chicken dash 10 underscore one has an available room so you immediately join that room what just happened let me explain so instead of if, if, if the current room if you try to join the current room in this case chicken dash 10 underscore 10 and it's full instead of attempting to join the next nth room chicken dash 10 underscore 11 it's the system automatically starts to search for available rooms starting from the starting room right so it's basically it makes it makes sure the system makes sure that every like previous room and starting from the very beginning is full and let's just say all those rooms are full 
so it's, it, it starts from the starting room and then and then it starts adding you know starting it starts adding to the you know nth number at the end it starts trying trying to join you know underscore one underscore two underscore three underscore four and let's just say all the all those rooms are filled full so it you hit underscore 10 and it's full and then you join underscore 11 and it's not full so it starts this exhaustive search from the beginning that's how the room joining works if a room is full basically i hope that mouthful uh, of mine explains it you know enough for you to understand uh, if you don't understand if you still don't understand look i i would i totally feel you if you don't understand still because i just kind of just rambled all over the place but um I guess if you go to, if you go to a site and once there's a lot of people on the site and you know you're for example let's just say room two is room two for example is is very active there's a lot of people in room two for example um, you'll you'll see what I mean you'll see what I mean you'll see what I mean because you'll attempt to join a particular room and you realize that room is full and you you're not put into the uh, the next available room after that nth room it puts you in the a room in a previous nth room. Right? So you're like, how does that work? Well, because I just explained to you. It starts the exhaustive search from the starting room if a particular room is full. It doesn't put you in the next room after the nth room that you were trying to join. It starts from the very beginning and attempts to join those rooms. Right? So that's basically how music room name works. Um, a few more things. Um, this, this number right here, this dash 10, or this number after this dash, which means the you know, max users per room. It goes all the way up to 1,000, so from one to 1,000. And if you go to uh, if you go past 1,000, it, it doesn't doesn't mean anything. It just assumes that number is still a thousand. For example, let me just let me just type in a thousand and one. Right. Notice how the max users is still stuck at 1,000. Right. So past 1,000, that number means nothing. It just assumes the default value, which is 1000 and uh, this number after this under number after this underscore it can go to as as high as it needs to right uh, there's no like limit to that number so thanks for watching this video this is basically how music room names work and I hope you understand it more in depth um, yeah thanks for watching